Uh, Your Majesty, Excellencies, Laureates, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sustainable use and protection of the world's water resources. This is a field within which the Stockholm Water Prize is awarded. And I can think of few more relevant fields to recognize with an international prize and a high profile seminar. Humankind and life on Earth depend on access to water and the pressure on existing water resources on our planet increases in pace with their in increasing world population. We all know this. We all know that sustainable use and protection of the world's water resources is a necessity today and will be even more so in the future. Still, we do not use our water resources in an overall sustainable way. And reaching a situation where we do so is no doubt a global challenge. The objective of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences is to promote sciences and strengthen their influence in society. Science and research cannot provide solutions to all problems, but it is a necessary requisite for addressing many questions of large societal importance not the least within the environmental sector. Protection of nature and environmental questions have by long tradition had a high profile within the Academy. The Academy awards the Nobel Prizes, the Crawford Prize, and a number of other large prizes which recognize scientific excellence. It is safe to say that we are experts in identifying and recognizing excellence. It is safe to say that the Academy is really an expert in this. And in this context, the Academy appreciates the affiliation with the Stockholm International Water Institute in the identification of Stockholm Water Applies Laureates and also, of course, the high international recognition of the prize. It is a pleasure for me to join Per Bertelsson in his welcoming of you all to an exciting seminar this morning. Thank you. <laughs>